Golo Kante um, and Tammy Abraham as well. How much work were they able to do today and are they going to be fit enough to play against Porto? They are fit enough to be in the squad and uh, will be in the squad all three. So this is the good news. Christian went out uh, right before the accident or like before an uh, injury could happen. So he, he, he said it in half time. He feels like if he continues, it will be, it will be an injury coming. So we need to take him off. And uh, Tommy is in the squad. And um, uh, who is it? And uh, Angie just did the uh, last test and uh, will be on the bench today. He feels very comfortable, comfortable enough to be on the bench. We also saw Ben Chilwell um, jokingly punching Kurt Zuma. Um, but was what happened between Tony Rudiger and Kepa on Sunday much more serious? No, I will tell you if it was so, but it was not. And it had nothing to do with the defeat. It was just an uh, uh, incident in training and it got heated up between uh, Tony and, um, and Kepa. So uh, we calmed the situation down immediately, but I was very... I mean, we don't, I don't, I don't want to play down now artificial. These, these are things we don't want to accept and things that are normally unusual, but they can happen. In, in little games after in, in little groups and, and they are all competitors and want to win training matches. So things got a little too, too heated up and the reaction was not okay. But the reaction to it, how the, the guys handled the situation, especially Tony and especially uh, Kepa was amazing and showed like how much respect they have in the end for each other because they sorted it out directly there was no they cleared the air immediately and this was the most important so there was nothing left one day after um, we 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 spoke about the issue and and then it was solved and i think that this is the this is the main part in it that it didn't stay with us that it was not like awkward situations the players did not go home and it was not solved they solved it out straight after training like like uh, in a in a very honest and a very uh, humble and a very direct and a way and that that showed me that they have uh, good good character james at talk sport thomas in terms of the incident between kepper and antonio as far as you're concerned is the matter now closed or will they serve a punishment for for what occurred on sunday <clears throat> no no punishment so 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 far uh, because uh, because of the way they they dealt with it, uh, the reaction was an immediate reaction. They 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 made it for everybody uh, uh, clear what happened, and uh, Tony sorted it out directly, which was also absolutely necessary and was a, a strong and brave thing to do, and was the only right thing to do, because that cleared the air uh, immediately. And so we continued and uh, made our point clear from club and from me that uh, we can uh, we are happy with the way they dealt with it um, but uh, that these are things that the, the, that we want to we, we don't like to accept but for the moment uh, and for for this situation there was no more further punishment Nick at Pia. hi Thomas um, it sounds like um, that's, that's all sorts of them which is good news um, but I mean in a way do you like the fact that there is that um, they have that competitive spirit within them yeah. and that they have that kind of reaction to the defeat at the, at the weekend that you obviously said you, that the right after the match wasn't the time for yeah. uh, you know heavy words and it was time no. to come down when you spoke to the squad and you went through the game how was that were you, were you sort of tougher on them when you when you actually did review the game um, first of all, it, it's very natural that there is a reaction to a result like this and to a game like this. So it's also necessary to adapt. Also, we feel, feel all much more comfortable when we win. So it is a, it is a strong part of, of sports in this level and of the character in, the, in, in, in football on this level that the guys hate to lose. So once we suffer a big loss in a weird, weird game, it's absolutely normal that there are reactions. So. First of all, we should accept it and see it as a good thing because it means that we feel uncomfortable and we, we show something. Clearly, there are rules and there are lines which we do not want to, to, to overstep. This happened uh, one day after the match, but things are, are, are sorted out. 
um, the point is for, for my talk after after the game like straight after the game is not the moment after after a defeat to to give uh, um, to be too too harsh to be too emotional the, the risk is, is too high that you regret it what you say even like in between the players even then it's hard to 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 swallow it and to first accept it what you have to accept that, that we lost the game and then is for me very very important that we are reliant reliable in uh, in analyzing a game and uh, I'm hopefully we are because we may we cannot only rely and do and do meetings um, uh, after uh, and um, relying on the result so that means we can be very very hard and and very critic after a win when we are not happy with the performance and we can point out things we don't like or we do like even if we lose a game 5-2 and a part of the uh, part of this game story is that we win all statistics all with 10 men and on and with 11 men all statistics and all statistics that matter to win games we win even expected goals we win the bypass defenders we win the touches in the box we win the shots on target we win everything if we play the same same game again I would bet a lot of money that we win it 99 out of 100 times. So, but this is also part of the story and this is also needed. Uh, we, I am courage enough to tell this, but there's a thin line between like just talking about it and, and feeling like, oh, now we won't, don't want to talk about the bad things. This is not. So there were many points we pointed out and it was reliable to speak about the fact that we produce some statistics that normally allow us to win this game. but. In the last five minutes, especially in the first half, we had some we, we neglected some principles of our defending and we got punished hard. And we talked about it, of course, because it's it's like how we defended, it's like how we solved problems that came up, it's about our body positioning, it was about being slopping in the build up. Of course we talked about this because it created yellow cards, it created a red card. And it costed us. Uh, it costed us a lot. It costed us maybe three points. They were almost in our pocket after the, the one after we were one nil up. Gary Cox. Hello, Thomas. Yeah. Hello. Um, Porto were magnificent in uh, in Juventus when they won there, but now they're without their two top scorers through suspension yeah. tomorrow's game. Is it important to capitalise on that in that first game tomorrow before those players return? <laughs> and also, can I just add? Is um is Oli Giroud in the running because he's obviously got a great record in the Champions League so far this season? Yeah, yeah, he's in the running, he's in the squad and he is absolutely excited to return to Sevilla and to play there. So it gives him a good feeling. He's very strong for us in, in Champions League. He has history in Sevilla with scoring uh, many goals in this in this uh, campaign. So yeah, obviously he's uh, he's in the running. Um, the first question we had a s almost similar situation against Atletico. Then uh, with Trippier and Carrasco and Jimenez coming back in the second game, and we won the second game 2-0. So this cannot be the approach. We know that the two important guys are missing, but it can. We will never approach a team like okay, these are missing now. Now we have to. Now we have to decide this match. A quarter final in Champions League. The, this means that you play uh, four halves and four times 45 minutes minimum of, of high-level high football. That means we need to be fully focused. We need to be absolutely self-aware of our strengths. We, we did already prepare some, some uh, offensive movements, some patterns from us where we want to go, go back and which we want to refine after, um, after our game on, on Saturday and after the, the big break and the national break, we want to uh, refine our rhythm. So the, the challenge is to be totally focused on our strengths and, and to play an intensive game and to, to, to narrow the focus down on 45 minutes and another 45 minutes. And then we will see what result we get, and then we will see how we deal with it in the in the second leg. I'm uh, super happy because today is the first time everybody's back in training, so this is what you want. Some we will have some major decisions to take, and uh, I have the feeling that we're absolutely ready for 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 tomorrow's game. Tom Body. Hi, Thomas. Hi. You said about the situation with um, Kepa and Rudiger that it wasn't serious and that it's unusual but can happen. 
I just wondered the, the, the fact the information got out there, does, does that come as more of a concern to you than the actual incident itself, that that information got out? Well, don't get me wrong, it was serious. It was nothing we can, we can just... Um, sometimes you have little, little, little situations where you maybe look away or where you let them sort things out alone. This was not the case. We, we needed to interfere. We needed to, to interfere in the situation. So the situation was serious, but how they, the guys in themselves handled the situation uh, was, was uh, also impressive and, and showed a lot of character. But the situation was serious. Um, that it gets out, yeah, it's, um, how can I say it, is, uh, I get used to it in, in modern times, there are too many, there are too many channels, there are too many, too many ways where, sit, where information can get out. Uh, I, I heard even that some of my, my debrief from match got out and was out there, like what I, what I told the team after the game and, and stuff like that, yeah. Okay, it's, it's, it's not nice. We, I, I, I would love to, like the information I give you now on the incident is of course not the fully details because I strongly believe that the details need to stay in, in, in the club, in Cobham, in training ground and in the dressing room. And of course, if we do meetings, I absolutely, I, we absolutely talk confidential and, and for me it has to stay in the, in the meeting room. Nowadays, things can, can can go out, which is not a, which is not like how we want it, but it's not such a big deal that I start now digging for who is the leak and, and who did this. I, I think you get totally, you can get totally lost in that and I don't want to lose my focus. So I'm not much out there in, in social media, not at all. I'm not much in the media and I know what we talk here and I will strongly rely that I, and I don't want to lose my trust in the group. So I, I accept it. Okay, we've got time for two more. I think we've covered that <coughs> subject quite enough. Matt Law and then Andy Dillon to finish. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, I, I just wanted to check, because we would have expected Tony Rudiger to start this game. I just want to check that nothing that's happened would, would change that. Do you, do you no. expect him to start the game? Yeah, absolutely. And, yes. and then also, there seems to be a suggestion from Porto um, I don't quite know where it's come from, that Chelsea players celebrated the draw, that they were happy to draw Porto. Um, quite a lot of that has been made in, in Portugal. Okay. Are you aware of that? And also, just the fact that West Brom result maybe just remind people and your players that, you know, there's, there's never an easy game, there's never an easy draw. So if it was necessary to remind us, okay, we take it as a, as a reminder. It was a big slap in the face, honestly. Uh, if you take it from that result that we needed that reminder all, all together, okay, let's take it like this. But uh, honestly, I could not see it coming. Even if I watched it after after the match when I did the analyzing video, I I, I was tempted to bet a lot of money in the 40, 45th minute that we will win it when I watch it on video, but we did not. So I did not see it coming from the first half an hour or for the first 40 minutes that we were sloppy, that we were in overconfidence. But yeah, we got a big slap in the face, like I said, and if it is, is, it is most necessary to remind us how, how tough it is to have clean sheets to, to keep on, on winning, okay, we take it like this. But you know, it's normal that, that people create stories around it and it's absolutely normal that, that, in the, in, that, that Porto will play their role as an underdog. We come from Premier League, um, they play in the, in the Portuguese league, obviously they are a strong team, they are a very strong team in Champions League, how, how, we will how, how, how should we celebrate it? We respect any team, we come for, from a competition where you can obviously lose, we are able to lose against the, the 19s in the, in the fixture 5-2, so we are the ones who know how humble you approach, we approach every game and we prepare 100% uh, professional and humble and down to earth every match. We play quarter final in, in Champions League. Once you wish for an opponent, okay, you, 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 you get lost, you, you will lose yourself in, in some, some crazy mind games. So this is it. Uh, we have the feeling, we have the strong feeling that we are strong enough to overcome Porto. I have the feeling that it will be a, a tough match because I expect nothing else than the best Porto, a very experienced side in, in this competition. Um, champions for, for many, many years and, uh, in, in, in Portugal, though, so this shapes uh, a certain mentality. 
and still I just can repeat, we are, we are confident enough that we are strong enough and we believe in ourselves to overcome this round and we play clearly to, to, to make it to the semi-final. Last question for Thomas, Andy Dillon. Uh, hi Thomas. Hi. hi uh, um, you've spoken a lot, it, it obviously seems, sorry, that there's, there has been some tension in the camp following the result among the players. So yeah. I'm just wondering about your feelings, how you were on Saturday night, Sunday, and coming in uh, today and last few days, how you've felt, I mean, especially that Chelsea are now out of the top four as a result of that defeat. And also what you've learned maybe about Chelsea and English football or, or about yourself and, and what you need to do at Chelsea? Well, we need to win games. That was clear all the time. And uh, we will never accept for ourselves uh, a day where we concede five goals at home. I saw it where we were one man down. This is something we will never accept for ourselves. Ho um, I had the feeling that the players are, to, are very hard on themselves to accept it. For me, it was super hard to accept it because I have also high demands from myself and, 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 uh, and the results from the teams that I coach. So this, like I said, was a big slap in the face. But uh, it is my job as a coach to not get lost in, uh, in, 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 in my emotions and not get lost in my anger and not get lost in my disappointment. So, but to just get myself up and watch the game again and, 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 and watch the performances and watch our behavior. And there were things, clearly things that we should do better and have done better. And that, that better behavior on the pitch, like in how we defend it, in the principles, how we attack, in the rhythm, in the, in the body positioning, in the distance, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the passing distances in the own half to escape pressure. We did obviously mistakes that we didn't do before. So it is the moment to, 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 um, to improve it. Uh, but there are a lot of circumstances that um, you have to accept. You come from a long break. We got a lot of praise. Uh, we play an early match on Saturday. And, um, and still you have to, to accept at one point, even as a coach, and when you are very angry after match, that in the evening and the afternoon, you, you still stay very, very disappointed. But we produced many, many numbers, crucial numbers, crucial statistics, which normally are enough to win any game, even this game, even the same game. Um, so it was um, a kind of accident, a kind of a, a very, very weird outcome of a strange game. We had problems to adapt to the situation, but for me it's not a question of character. We showed a lot of character in 14 matches. We showed a lot of character in super difficult situations when we arrived and the chase is on for, for top four and this has never changed. Now we have a, a setback. We, we considered a setback. It reminds, it remi maybe it reminds us, all of us, me included, that the race is not finished, but we are in the middle of it. West Ham took advantage of it, fair enough, okay, so we have to accept it. It was only our responsibility and our fault, I stick with it, that we lost this game. It was our fault to concede a red card and it was clearly our fault to gamble, uh, to gamble on that red card and it was our fault how we behaved the 60 minutes after, after that to allow, to allow the opponent to score five goals. And now we have to deal with the consequences and this is all about about this this is sports even if we hate it we hate to lose it's clear at Chelsea we hate to lose and this makes us strong but it is in sports about the reaction <laughs> you know anybody can feel good in in a, in a in a series of 14 matches without a loss everybody feels good but now we won together and now we bounce back together this is the next this is the next stop in our in the next step in our development and this is what we go for and this is how it is in sports Okay, that is the end of Thomas. Please stay.